Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Jank Robbins, a 2316 player in the five minute pool. Uh, I'm gonna play this like Gurganidze system. Play this on occasion. Uh, okay, I should know what to do here. Is it knight h6 right now? Or is it take? I think it's knight h6 right now, so that's what I'll do. Yeah, yeah, this is the move. I should be more sure of myself. <laughs> and now if I castle, he can play queen d2. So I I think I want to take on e4. I could castle and then um, after he plays queen d2, then take on e4 is possible. I could also play f6. But f6 seems kind of weird. Hmm. Eesh, just can't remember what to do. Okay, I'll castle. And then after queen d2, I'll take on e4. Because otherwise, queen d2 like basically traps my piece. <laughs> so that's no good. Who is Jank Robbins? Does this guy have a name other than Jank Robbins? Nope. Pretty new account. Um, take on e4 makes sense. f6 could be played. I know, I know usually they end up taking on e4 in this position, but I'm gonna play f6. This seems more interesting. So I'll just do that. And this is one of the major ideas in this system is to go knight f7 and hopefully prepare e5. If everything works out, that's black's dream move. So let's do that. There's a lot of ways they can try to cross this plan though. One thing about this line, it's really good for white if they can put the pawn on c4. So, I mean, he would he would love to have the pawn in front of the knight right now. Sometimes they even play knight b5, try to win a tempo by threatening knight c7 in order to do that. So here, if I just develop, what are you going to do? Can you hurt me in any way? Next, I'm just going to play e5 and try to roll you in the center. You could play bishop b5, though, and he could do that. I think he should do that. Although, okay, I, th I might see some potential tactics. Hmm. So if I play e5, he takes, I take with my pawn. What gives? I have a nice center then, very nice center. Don't see any tactics I have to be worried about. Let's do it. This pawn is defended sufficiently. I mean, I, I, I double check to make sure like knight takes d5 doesn't work for him. I take with the queen and he doesn't have any way to like discover to attack me. Ooh, wow. This looks nice. e4. e4 just looks simple and good. I'm hoping he can't like take on d5 or something radical like that. Knight h2. Knight d4 makes sense for me. Uh, what else? Bishop e6, simply. Queen b6, maybe. Knight d4 is very, very obvious. Should be good. He's going to try to get his knight back into the game through g4. position just looks really good for me. Okay, I'm going to do this. Bishop there. Wow. I was thinking knight e5 might be interesting. Now nah, let's just play it safe. Bishop e6. And go here. He's playing quite rapidly. Daring me to take stuff. I'll just keep defending my center. Yeah, this is like the type of opponent I've come across. Like he knows his position is very sketchy. <laughs> 
<laughs> but he's playing fast to make up for it. <laughs> so it's hard to play against an opponent like that. I'm not going to lie. Because he knows his position's sketchy. I know it's sketchy. His mother knows it's sketchy. Then again, I mean, I shouldn't be so categorical about this. Like, it's still a lot of play here for both sides. Let's put the queen on b6 and eye that f2 square. Just I've got these really nice center pawns, but I have a minute and a half left on my clock. Let's get in here. Solidify some stuff. Okay. Let's go here. Just to cover F6. I'm expecting knight back to G3. Oh, I didn't see that he could do that. Oh, kind of a moron. Eh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I can move his queen, like queen c2 or something. I'll try to avoid a trade. Maybe I'm catching up a little bit on the clock, not much. I don't know why he put his knight in a pin though. Let's just take that pawn. This is a really nice end game. My miners are pretty good. Think you can do this? Maybe. Threatening knight d4 now. Oh, this can't Check. be good for him. He's got to be dropping something. Yeah, he's dropping something here. These two knights are too precarious. All right, I'm going to have to be quick, guys. If I don't talk much, it's because I don't want to lose on time. <laughs> really? That move? Okay. Check. Oh, I'm getting bamboozled with tactics. Time warning. It's just undermine. Ugh. Yeah, and he's very fast too. Check. Check. Yeah. Check. Check. 
Check. Check. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, what can you say about these types of situations? I just laid it all out there and went for it. He said good game in the chat. We'll see, thanks. Good game, thanks. Um, okay, so going back. Again, I have this problem. I just, it's like if I get a good position in these blitz games and I know it's a good position, I'll sit there and try to calculate the win. But you can't do that in blitz. That's just a terrible attitude. Like all these moves I'm taking too much time, like 30 seconds plus to make this move knight d4. It's just simple and good. And he's keeping up the pace the whole time. And I'm like talking about how my position's so nice and, you know, <laughs> everything's going swell. Meanwhile, he's catching up on the clock and the position is getting murkier. Yeah, so... Hmm. I, I wonder... Back here. So, when I played knight c6... I really think he has to take measures to stop e5 right now. So I bet bishop b5 is the move. I think bishop b5 would be prudent right now. Because then if e5, he can... Well, he could take first, or he could just insert bishop take c6 right away. Uh, let's just say bishop take c6 immediately, and then take and take. Um, I was considering whether in a position like this... I had some tactics on f2. Like actually, rook takes f2 nearly works. It might work. Hmm. And after this, I have queen f6. Check. I could also play queen b6 and hit f2, b2. Is that, that line totally forced, though? I mean, he could take here first. Yeah, that, that's probably the better move, because then if pawn takes, then take here. Oh, no, it just transposes. What am I talking about? Here, take, 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 take. Let's just see what the computer thinks about all this. Yeah, rook takes f2. And if he takes here, I guess I have... Well, I was thinking rook takes g2, but computer says just take it. And then queen b6 check. check. And his king is in danger. Okay. Well, it might be the case that I'm just getting in e5 at this point, and the position is... Yeah. Computer says I'm getting in e5 no matter what. Even after bishop b5. Still do this. Well, I, I very much like my position after this happened. Imposing pawn center. Um, I have more pawn islands than him. I have three islands to his two islands. But aside from that... You know, everything is looking looking up for me. Yeah, I just spent too long on some natural moves. Knight d4. This is all good. I'm playing good moves, but they're taking a while. I guess I could have cashed in and gone for a pawn right now. I'm happy with this, though. The quality of these moves is high. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and already here, I was starting to feel the clock a little bit. G5. I was just thinking, try to stop the knight from coming to f4. This d4 is more to the point. Yeah, because if I could swap the light square bishops, that would be fine by me. Wow, that's a big advantage it gives after d4. It's creeping up to, like, minus 2 or something. Yeah. And here, it looks like I don't even have an edge anymore. My d5 pawn is under attack. Rook d1. Now it really likes him at this point. Why is that? Let's say I defend it. Knight d4. He's getting squares. That's why you have to be very careful when you advance these pawns. Like when I had the tandem on e5 and d5, it was nice because I controlled so many squares. But as soon as you advance one of them, like I played e4 on move 13, uh, then you compromise some squares. Every time you move a pawn, even if you're getting a great square, you're giving up some square. Or lessening control of it. Yeah, and I'm not even better anymore at this point. I definitely felt my advantage was slipping away. Like, he's made how many consecutive knight moves now? Six consecutive knight moves? 
make it seven. <laughs> I just dropped the pawn on d5, make it eight. Okay, so he made eight knight moves in a row, and suddenly I'm much worse. And I was I was just going into blitz mode at this point. I was trying to try not to lose. I'm sort of upset that I didn't uh, find something good after this. I knew he was going to try something tricky because he thought here for a little bit. Yeah, he he spent a good amount of time on this move, 30 seconds or so, and then played knight c7, and I, I couldn't quite figure out what to do. Yeah, I should have played rook e5. That would have been good. And then if here... Okay, I was thinking he was going to drop something, but I guess not. Hmm, knight c7 was a good practical try. What is this? Knight df6. Take on e2, take on Check. e8, take here. Hmm. And then if he wants to avoid losing a piece, he has to go here. Rook e7, bishop c4. Ah, too many complications for a blitz game. That's down to the wire. <laughs> At any rate, it appears I have an advantage at this point. Check. I'm I'm pretty shocked that I actually won this game. Because this you saw how fast this guy was playing, and I started with like much less time in this time scramble. And it was Check. down a pawn. My king was unsafe. Check. Where did I Check. make all this time up? It was just from literally oh yeah, he could have trapped my rook too, I saw that. <laughs> king D2. Somehow Check. I made all this time up. Check. I was pre-moving a lot, and he was trying to play careful. Check. I tried to sneak g4, g3 by him to create mating nets, or some sort of counterplay, but Check. he got Check. me. Check. Lots of pre-moves. Take notes, guys. Take notes. <laughs> he was moving back and forth, and then eventually threw Check. in like rook h6. I think we've both been pre-moving for a solid, like, 20 moves or so now. <laughs> this is really funny. Check. It was just a draw at the Check. end by Perpetual, but he ran out of time. <laughs> That's classic. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this ended, like, somehow, assuming we had slightly more time. Like, I check. might check him, check. and I might be like, oh, I'm going to play for the win. Go here. And then he plays, like, Rook H2, check. and I Mate. win. Uh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, if we weren't in, like, such blitz mode, I would just offer a draw and, you know, have the end of it, but... Well, of course I would offer a draw here, I guess, but before, if we had any sort of normal amount of time on the clock, uh, the result of the game would have been uh, determined more amicably, let's say that. So... Check. All right, well, I'll take the 91 move flag at the end. Crazy game. Hope you guys enjoyed this game, and please leave me any feedback in the comments. And I'll be back tomorrow with more games, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.